as a follow up of the iFi Nano iUSB 3.0, here the review of its bigger brother, the Micro iUSB 3.0. It's twice the price, twice the size, but does it also offer twice the quality? It might be interesting to first watch the review of the iFi Nano iUSB 3.0 and connecting your DAC number 2 how digital can go wrong. The links are in the show notes. The micro iUSB 3.0 in essence does the same as the Nano but then twice as good. It cleans the signal and the power lines and reclocks and reshapes the output. Furthermore, an audio file hub is integrated which is handy if you also use a hard disk that needs to be fed from USB. The small aluminium box measures 160 by 65 by 27 mm and has connections on both small sides and on one long side. On one short side you find the power inlet, the power switch, a ground lift switch and the USB 3B socket for connection to the computer. On the top are three small LEDs that indicate whether a computer is connected and switched on, if the micro is switched on and if the ground lift is activated. The other short side holds a USB A socket that only offers power and a second one that also carries the USB signal. These two are doubled on the long side. The power only socket can be used to power the DAC while the USB signal comes from the other socket. iFi has an optional cable to enable this. Although the micro iUSB 3.0 is fully USB 3 compatible, I currently know of no DAC that is. That's no problem for the unit will work with USB 2 devices just as well. As long as the connector fits it will work. The ground lift switch is self explanatory. It disconnects the ground from the source. Simply start in the ground lift position and when hum is audible switch over to the ground connected position. The power switch also has two positions, auto and on. When in the auto position it will switch off when not in use. The on position keeps the power on all the time which can be handy when the DAC needs USB power to identify itself to the source. Talking about power, the micro iUSB 3.0 comes with a 9V iPower wall ward. This is an audio grade switching mode power supply. I have reviewed the 5V version to find it about as good as the Audiophonics linear power supply. Apart from active noise cancellation and filtering of the power supply, the USB signal is also reclocked and regenerated and both are done at a higher level compared to the Nano iUSB 3.0. To test the audible result of the micro iUSB 3.0, I place the Intel NUC 6 i3 running Rune Rock nearby my setup 1 and connected it alternatively direct to the MyTech Brooklyn DAC and via the micro. I also compared it to the Nano. It sounds cheap to say the micro really does sound twice as good as the Nano, but it more or less does in my setup 1. The stereo image opens further up, the highs are more refined, there is less time smearing and it's all more relaxed. Although I hate being quasi precise using exact figures for audible observations, let's please you once more. In the Nano review I stated that if a direct connection between the Intel NUC and the Microtech Brooklyn would offer 20% of what I know the SOTM SMS200 also offers me, the Nano would offer 40%. Then the Micro does 70%. In my setup too it would hit 85% of what, is, what I know is possible and in my sub 1000 euro setup 3 the difference between the Micro and the Nano becomes relatively small. Whether you would need to buy the micro for this setup depends on future plans. The nano would suffice as such. Only if you plan to upgrade over time the micro might become interesting. With the micro iUSB 3.0 
iFi offers a more upmarket product from the Nano. At 455 euros or 395 pounds including VAT or 399 dollars ex sales tax, it's twice the price, but it really does offer twice the quality over the Nano, if that's a fair way of putting it. As I said in a Nano review, if you are not a critical listener and have a setup that is not very refined, you might even hear no difference at all. But if you are a critical listener and have a setup a well chosen 3000 euro or more stereo, you will find the money well spent. A review of the SOTM TX USB Ultra that by the way again is more than twice the price of the Micro will follow in the near future. So if you want to stay informed subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question post it below this video but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my about questions video to find out why. If you like this video please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. Just one dollar a month will do. The link is in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.